We have breaking news on the suspect in the Texas mass shooting. Let's bring in NBC Justice correspondent Pete Williams. Uh, Pete, what have you learned? Well, this raises another question about whether there was another opportunity to put information into the system that would have denied Devin Kelly the ability to buy a gun. Uh, our affiliate in Houston, KPRC, has uh, figured out that, uh, gotten a police report that indicates that Devin Kelly, while he was still in the Air Force awaiting his trial uh, on the uh, charges that would ultimately result in his court martial, was apparently referred to, we don't know if he was committed involuntarily, but was sent to a mental health facility near the base in New Mexico, according to the police report, uh, because he suffered from mental disorders and had been caught sneaking firearms onto the Air Force base, uh, and that he said that he wanted to carry out threats that he had made on his military chain of command. So he was in a mental health facility, a behavioral facility. Uh, he left that facility, or in the words of the police report, escaped, and said he wanted to take the bus and, get, and leave the state. Uh, police were called. He was found at the bus station and turned over to local police. Uh, so a couple of things we learn here. Uh, one is uh, more information about what was already a clear picture of somebody who had some very serious uh, mental problems uh, and problems with anger. Second thing we learn is that he was accused here of uh, planning or claiming that he wanted to make uh, threats against his military superiors and was trying to sneak guns onto the base. But then the other question is this. Uh, if he was in fact involuntarily committed to this mental health facility, then that could trigger yet another provision of federal law that would that denies people the ability to own a gun. The law says you can't have a gun if you were, uh, and, and this is the words of the law, adjudicated as a mental defective or uh, committed to a mental institution. So mm -hmm. one question here is, was he actually involuntarily committed? And if so, should that information have been put into the FBI database? We believe it was not because authorities said just a moment ago at the news conference that there was nothing in the database that would have disqualified him from buying a gun. Pete Williams, thank you very much. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.